Hello, welcome to our new review. We discover iSpring Suite Max, a must-have tool from Microsoft PowerPoint offered by iSpring Solutions to make outstanding interactive content, presentations, and online courses without effort, saving a lot of time. This is indeed the ultimate e-learning authority toolkit available. You can download iSpring Suite from the official website. After a quick installation, you can start making content right away with any course, quiz, simulation, up to complete ebooks. In this video, we will see how to make the most complete interactive course. The course opens on a new Microsoft PowerPoint slide that will be transformed into full interactive content thanks to all the integrated tools brought by iSpring Suite on its new dedicated tab above. You can access to loads of ready-made media from the content library, including 2,300 slide templates and 81,000 male and female characters wearing specific clothes, targeting different ethnicity or showing facial expressions to enhance interaction. You also get more than 2,500 backgrounds and also common objects and icons you can import in your slides. From the Insert section, you can finally create interactive content. With Quiz, you open the iSpring Quiz Maker to build your own quiz. Select between Graded Quiz and Survey and use the features above as you do with Microsoft PowerPoint. You can add a multiple choice question, adding feedback if necessary. Make sure to customize the quiz results and take a look at the slide view to see how the quiz looks. Finally, click on Preview to test the quiz. iSpring Suite designs content fitting several devices, including screens, tablets with Windows, and Mac OS, up to smartphones with Android and iOS. If it looks good, you can save it and return to your main document. On a new slide, you can click on Interaction to use iSpring visuals and build animated illustrations such as steps, timelines, processes, and so on. Click on Properties to test the interaction and customize titles, order animations, and colors. Then save and return to your main course. With dialog simulation, you can use iSpring TalkMaster to implement a conversation simulation with the user. Each simulation is made by different scenes, each with proper content speech from the character and two or more reply options the user can choose. At first, start with a new scene and define the character speech its emotional status, and add a proper image to use as character or simply pick one from the iSpring content library. At this point, add the possible replies for the user. This completes the first scene, so you can click and drag from any of its replies towards outside to make a new scene that runs when the user selects such reply. This way, the interaction is built with one or more characters if necessary. Furthermore, click on VoiceOver to attach to each speech line a proper recording and make the simulation more realistic. Do not forget to test the final result with Preview. With screen recording, you can use iSpring Cam Pro to record training videos by taking your screen your webcam, or both. You can take the whole screen, a defined area, or a specific application, enabling or disabling any microphone. To stop the recording, use F10 and edit the result in a complete timeline view editor. Each audio and video file is indeed a clip you can move, trim from edges, and adjust in speed rate by right-clicking on these. You can also extract a freezed frame 
and add several in-video objects, such as other media, pieces of text, shapes, and amazing transitions. From Properties, set Video Resolution and Mouse Cursor options, and go to Save and Return to come back to your main slide course. The Narration section collects all the tools to narrate your course. For example, you can click on Record Audio to record audio for each selected slide, with the possibility to take notes on the right side. In the same way, you can go to Record Video to record with your microphone and webcam, and then to Manage Narration to open the Timeline view and set where to place the recorded videos and audio files in time. This editor includes tools to remove audio noise, adjust volume, add fade transitions, and even amazing animations. From the Presentation section, click on Slide Properties to manage all the slides of your course, including title, advance order, slide duration, and even the layout to use. Go to Branching to move from one slide to the next one or trigger another event. On Presentation Resources, add attachments, hyperlinks, and your company logo. Whereas, click on Player to manage the player that runs your course when loaded in LMS. Select between the default Universal Player and a video lecture or a classic slide. Set the right template and layout to use by enabling or disabling any element. Change their placement or content as you like. Customize the general appearance, the way to navigate through the slides, the colors to use, and the text labels for each element. If your course is ready, check it entirely with Preview above. This differs from the standard PowerPoint presentation since this emulates the course when it is loaded in any LMS, complete with player and video audio narrations added. Always test these across desktops, tablets, and mobile resolutions. If the course looks good, go to Publish to share it. Select My Computer to export the course in HTML5 or as a simple video to upload online. Switch to iSpring Space to upload and share it with your team on iSpring or iSpring Learn. Select LMS if you use another LMS service with the correct profile at the bottom, or go to YouTube to render and upload your course into a YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching this review. Make sure to check our video description to learn more about iSpring Suite and its amazing tools to realize courses online.